it's high time I harvested the garlic. It's starting to go yellow. It has become a matter of urgency. I have been distracted with other tasks. The rest of the family is away for a few weeks. So I'm doing things on my own and yesterday I spent five hours netting the blueberries which I wouldn't have to do normally at all but the blackbirds have arrived. Time to hop to it. I have to be a little bit careful here. I have butter beans and radishes growing in here and chives as well. As you can see, we do a lot of gardening in the weeds. I'm fairly time poor at present. And the orchard takes up a lot of my time. So the poor old veggie patch pays the price of that. So there's been a lot more grass growth than usual. They're good healthy sized bulbs. I bought two varieties. I don't normally walk around on the garden beds but necessity dictates it at the moment to get these out of the ground which is surprisingly hard to get up. I pulled some bulbs up the other day that weren't anywhere near as hard to get out of the ground as these are. This soil here is actually some topsoil I brought in to make the raised beds. So it's uh, a sandy loam whereas I naturally have a clay loam here. So all that sandy loam on the outside but into the, the clay, clay, it's a bit heavy, I wouldn't even call that loam, you can see by the way it sticks together in big clumps like that. No wonder it didn't want to come up. So not as big a head. There you go. So there are only two or three that were really hard to dig out that would come out quite easily and it's all in the sandy, sandy loam. We may raise beds because this area, being so close to the building site, ended up with a mixture of topsoil and pure clay. Then I had heavy machinery here during the house build. Uh, to as part of the build and also then to put in the fence afterwards. So there was a lot of compaction. I have spent a couple of years trying to um, trying to improve the structure of the soil, a lot of mulch, uh, aeration, but it is a very slow process, especially where there is pure clay mixed in, which is subsoil, well, less, lower than subsoil. Oh, there's garlic and chives right next to each other. Oh, well. A bit of collateral damage on the chives. I have made my peace with weeds a long time ago.
the garlic that I've been pulling out is a testament to the fact that it hasn't been detrimental to the growth of the garlic at all. Rain was forecast for last night, which didn't materialise around here. So I put all the garlic bulbs on top of my car as an interim measure. Now I have to move them because I want to use my car. This is the entire crop of the garlic that was in the back row, which I reckon is the long keeping variety, a silver skin called Long Sally. All in all, a very pleasing crop. The bulbs are of good size, generally speaking. Some are a little smaller and some are much bigger. They have a storage time of about 12 months. I haven't finished harvesting the second group, which are a medium store, seven to nine months, of the artichoke type of bulb, and this variety is called late Italian. Generally speaking, it seems to be a bigger bulb than the long Sally. I got over using the fork as a tool to dig up garlic yesterday. I finished the job with this here tool. Much easier, much quicker. But as I said yesterday, there were only a few that were exceptionally hard to get out where they got into the, the heavier soil. So this is winter savoury here that's lying around all over the place. There you go. Two two strikes and it's up. Getting in amongst the winter savoury, I've cleared a spot. There we go. So even while there are all these weeds, the size of the garlic is very good. The roots of this chive plant intertwined with the garlic. They don't mind each other at all. The harvest is complete except for this one last one which is growing so close to the carrot plant that I would have to take the carrot out as well as the garlic and I don't want to do that so I will sacrifice this garlic plant in order to retain the carrot which is going to go to seed and that's what I want of it. I have moved all the garlic into the workshop. The family is away for almost two more weeks so that should give plenty of time for the garlic to dry off a bit. There were five plants that I accidentally put the tines through the bulbs so we will eat those first. There were a couple of potatoes that came up in amongst it as well and one last chai plant. The final bonus behind it, the garlic harvest is all the incidental chives that I pulled up which are now in my sunroom drying along with some parsley which has been here for several days and is doing well.